Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching In Depth on Now You Know. Jesse and I wanted to talk to you this week about the horrible forest fires that are happening in California. In Northern California, Southern California, there are fires that have uh, displaced over 250,000 residents as of the recording of the show. Uh, more than 6,700 structures have burned to the ground. And people are seeing the effects of forest fires up and down the coast of California. Our hearts go out to everyone who's been affected by these forest fires. It's awful. Now, Elon tweeted, uh, if Tesla can help people in California wildfires, please let us know. Model S and X have hospital grade HEPA filters, may be helpful for transporting people. Now, when he sent this out, you know, there's two groups, right? There's the Tesla fans who support him, and there's the Tesla haters who immediately got on him and were like, well, like this guy, haunted dog. He said, why are you going on Twitter to offer help? Just call Jerry Brown and Gavin Newsom without showing how magnanimous you are for all to see. And Elon responded, because people on the ground know more about what's actually needed than politicians do. And I would argue Elon was not trying to sell cars here. Mm -hmm. Elon's first thought is always how to help people. And he honestly wanted to make sure that people were helped. And in fact, if that's what he wanted to do was sell cars, then why would he send an email to all of his employees um, reportedly encouraging Tesla workers to provide assistance to the ongoing rescue efforts if they can and not to worry about compensation? Think about that for a second. He just told his employees, go help people in the fires. Don't worry about getting paid. I'll take care of that for mm -hmm. you. That's not a car salesman. Right. Uh, not only that, he's also offered free supercharging for those affected. So basically everyone who owns a Tesla and needs to get out, free supercharging. That would be like if the heads of Ford and GM were like, don't worry about it. We'll pay for your gas so that you can get out of this disaster. Right. They're not doing that, by they're the way. Just that. in case you were wondering, they're not doing that. Right. And I think a lot of people don't realize that every time there's a horrible thing like a hurricane, Elon does this for people. He extends their battery range if he can. Mm -hmm. Gives you If you had, like, let's say, a, a limited software, limited battery, he increases it so that you can have more range. And he makes it so that you're getting free supercharging. Right. And I think for a lot of us, we think, well, you know, we're in the Northeast right now. We're not affected by this particular disaster. So we think like, oh, well. Who cares? That That's just like a publicity stunt. Mm -hmm. But think about this for a second. Let's imagine yourself that you're a family in a car trying to get out of a disaster area, a hurricane or a fire, and he's just made it so that you can supercharge or extend your range. That has a direct effect on your family's ability to get out of harm's way. Right. And I'm kind of bothered by the fact that I haven't seen any media coverage of this in the larger media. And I mean, Jesse and I in our newsroom scour the media looking for stories. And the only places we tend to see any mention of this is in the small eco-friendly news sources. Right. It's not like a, a, an offshoot of a large news organization or anything like that. These are small, independent news organizations that just sort of focus on being environmental or, or well, stuff like that. And here's the thing, if you're say CNN and you're covering this around the clock, you have plenty you have plenty of time. Like you're just repeating the same things. Right. A large we know that there's the a big fire. And Everyone's got, on fire. You got your reporters out there looking for stories. Here's a story. Mm -hmm. Lots of Tesla drivers are being affected by this. And what do I mean? So let's talk about bioweapon defense mode. Right. Because I think a lot of people hear that and it sounds like some kind of computer game. Like or it sounds scary. There's an interesting thing that got developed at Tesla. When the Model X came out, I think a lot of people were focused on the Falcon Wing doors, and not a lot of people were focused on the bioweapon defense mode filter, because no one knew what that was or how that even affected you in any way. Yeah, it's a giant HEPA filter. So the same kind of filter that you have in a hospital room, or many of us have at home now, right? right. It's a very fine particulate matter filter, takes out very small particles out of the air. Right. And what Elon was able to do was design a giant, it's, it takes up like the whole front dash. And that's the not the whole thing. There's also other parts that will filter out different things. Like the HEPA filter will take care of particulate. Right. He also has things that will take out other pollutants that a HEPA filter wouldn't take out. This right. is This system is is really, really, really good. What surprised me was when this system came out, I was like, that is so smart. Why didn't I think of that? Places like China, India, and even cities in the US that are very smoggy can really benefit from the fact that if you're driving in pollution all day and now you don't have to breathe that, that's amazing. So I thought in the next couple of years, we'll just see every car maker offer this. Right. And 
haven't seen it, no. And then I think a lot of people thought it was a gimmick. I think a lot of people thought hospital room clean. Yeah, right. right. You can drive through a bioweapon area. There haven't been too many bioweapon attacks in you know the United States, but when there's a huge forest fire, everyone likes to think about forest fire. It's a fire. There's fire everywhere. Good point. And, and not a lot of people talk about the smoke. And that's true of house fires. But the interesting thing is more people die of smoke inhalation in house fires than die in the fire part of the fire. That's right. We're so worried about getting burned, we don't realize the smoke is going to kill us first. Right. In California right now, the air quality is terrible right. because of all of these fires. Yeah, we're hearing about people who are going to work just trying to do their regular day stuff, and they get to work, and they're coughing, and, and they're... everyone is coughing. Right. Everyone has this, like, ugh, like this sort of... Ugh, in right. The I mean, so even if you're not directly affected by the fires, you're indirectly affected by the smoke. And so if you can get into your car and that whole time you are able to breathe clean air, mm. that has a huge impact on your life. And so Elon's basically saying these cars can be used to help you and your family get into the car and now you're you have breathable air. Right. Whereas outside of the car, where can you go to get breathable air other than an oxygen mask? And so, and if you're trying to escape the areas of the fire, you're going to be driving through many mi miles of smoke. Just take a look at this footage. It looks like you're driving through hell. Yeah. It looks, I mean, that's the scariest thing you could possibly be driving. And through. imagine trying to drive through it while you're also dealing with breathing problems. Right. Because that air is, first of all, super hot, super super polluted mm -hmm. full of smoke you know like when you're sitting around a campfire and the wind blows the wrong way and all of a sudden you're like oh gosh i can't even open my eyes your eyes are stinging mm -hmm. it's the exact same thing non-stop non-stop right because you're in the fire right. basically so you I mean you can't even think straight whereas right. if you can get into your tesla with bioweapon defense mode and turn that on clean your air and here's the thing let's go back to the fact that it's not a gimmick so when the car came out a lot of people said that's a gimmick can't work take a look at this this is a tesla model x in a giant bubble mm -hmm. and what they did was they actually tested it so they took the level of pollutants from 1000 micrograms per cubic meter to non-detect that means you can't detect anything. It's it's below what the meters can actually read in two minutes. Right. And then after a couple minutes more, the bubble that it was in actually started getting cleaner. In fact, the amounts of PM 2.5 particles dropped by 40% just a few minutes later. So the car does have an amazing filter system. Right. That basically in two minutes can turn your car from air that you can't breathe into air that's perfectly clean. And we've seen case after case of this because Jesse and I follow this. So we've seen people who have asthma, for instance. If you remember a few months ago, we reported on a little girl who has asthma and she needs to actually tr transport in a Tesla with bioweapon defense mode so that she can actually breathe. It's amazing just because no other cars have this. Why? Why don't other cars have this? It's not, it's not that expensive to put it into the car. Yeah, you can make it an option, right? If people wanted right. it, they could pay extra for it because that's basically what you're doing right now in the Model S and X. And in fact, remember this, when the Model X came out, it was the only Tesla that had it. Mm -hmm. And then Model S owners started saying, hey, I want it. Right. And so they actually found a way to add it to Model S's. Right. So people do want it. And I think here's the thing, until you experience something, Generally, you don't know what it is, right? So especially when there's something new that comes along, you're like, well, I don't know what HEPA filter that would mean. When I drive in my Model X and I'm on the road and I'm behind some stinky truck or whatever, I can just switch it on. Instantly, my ride is enjoyable. Right. For people with allergies, it filters out all the allergens. Suddenly you get in your car and your, your eyes are all puffy and you can't see anything. And, and just a few minutes later, all the allergies go away and you're going to start to feel better. But that's with me experiencing it firsthand. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got to be honest, when I first got it in Model X was basically because no one else had it. It sounded cool and I wanted to be able to report on it for you guys. Mm -hmm. But now that I have it, like, I wouldn't want to get rid of it. Right. And I think that's the problem with Tesla versus the rest of the world. We're so used to other car companies making cars that are just barely passable. Right. And by that, I mean, okay, we got you five stars on safety. Okay, you you satisfied now? It's got mm -hmm. five stars. Whereas we told you in the past, five stars doesn't mean the same. Every five star car is not the same. Tesla came out with cars that are far safer. We've shown you this. They're the three safest cars in the world. That that it's not doesn't get picked up on enough. It it's coming from a place. Elon doesn't want to make money. 
He wants to make the world a better place. I can't point to too many other people that run companies that want to do that. I can point to people who run charities and who run, you know, non-government organizations, but I can't p- point to too many capitalists mm-hmm. that are billionaires or millionaires that want to make the world a better place, and that's their first goal. When we hear Elon tweet out that he wants to help people, that that can be true. We just keep, so many people are like, well, that just must be some weird publicity stunt. But it's not. We've covered him for years. We know how he thinks. And when this horrible thing is happening in California, he just wants to help as many people as he can. And he wants his employees to go help as many people as they can. Right. The part that makes me angry is that the media doesn't pick up on the story, won't cover the story. Right. It's a lot like the smoke. It's a lot like the air pollution. If you can't see it, then you don't think about it. Air pollution, no one talks about air pollution until they can see the air pollution, until the smog is visible. And, you know, the worse it gets, the more people talk about it until change happens, like in China. More people die from air pollution than car accidents every year. Right. The World Health Organization states that 4.6 million people die every year from causes directly related to to air pollution. Right. And you might be thinking, well, that's in some other place in the world not where I'm not there. Right. Well, if you're in Europe, for instance, 310,000 Europeans die every year from air pollution. I think of Europe as being a very clean, you know, wonderful place, and it is, but people are dying there from air pollution. They're dying right. all over the earth. And we just decide that we can just ignore it. M- most of the time, no one hardly is ever talking about it, uh, again, until you see it until you can either see those numbers, and it's wonderful that the World Health Organization actually has those numbers, or if you can actually see the the air pollution in the air. And it's true with almost anything in people's lives. With Tesla, for example, most people don't see Teslas, except for maybe they spot one on the road or something like that. But most people can't hop in a Tesla, take it for a ride, and experience it firsthand. And so, out of sight, out of mind, They don't pay any attention to it. And we've seen this firsthand. We get people who have never seen a Tesla before, get them in the car, take them for a test ride, and the biggest question is, why haven't I heard about this? Right. I love this thing. This is amazing. I need one. Mm -hmm. And it's it's so easy for people to, if they're not thinking about it, and and bring this back to bioweapon defense mode. Not a lot of people in California we're thinking about bioweapon defense mode. Especially because, I'll be honest, I mean, Elon couched it in the wrong terms, in my opinion. Right. It sounds like a zombie apocalypse thing, like a joke. Right. Because it's called bioweapon defense mode. If it had been labeled by some focus group at Ford, it would have been called, like, you know, clean air, air cabin. Yeah, fresh air, air cabin. Cab- right. Right. Which probably would be a better name for it. You know, because then the average person would go, oh, I get it. Whereas when, as soon as you say bioweapon defense mode, people are like... I don't need to turn that on. And part of it is because Elon is is kind of weird. I mean, he's a he's an engineer. He's a nerd. He wants to name it something fun that, right. that's fun for him and right. that's fun for people who can wrap their heads around it. Right. And oh, I, this is cool. I could drive through a bioweapon, like an area that's been affected by bioweapons. But here's the thing. You need it every day pretty much wherever you live because the air is not clean. And here's something that can actually clean your air. I mean, a lot of us have HEPA filters at home. Right. right, so that we can sleep through the night. You're going to be driving in your car in the worst pollution because you're going to be in traffic. Right, you're going to be on a little stretch of land where there are just hundreds and hundreds and thousands of cars with tailpipes just shooting right into where your air intake and is. For diesel your car. trucks, for exactly. instance. I mean, which are highly pollutant. So you need this more than you think you need it, and. Why aren't other car companies putting this in their car? And why isn't the media saying, wow, this is amazing. Let's report on this. Right. That's what we're upset about here. It would be an interesting news piece to be like, you know, many people are, you know, they have their microphone. They say, many people are affected by air pollution caused by the wildfires. But Jane and Bob Pernalto are not affected. Over to you, Jim. Hi, I'm here with James and John Peralto. And, well, what do you guys think about it? Oh, it's just so nice to not have to, you know, everyone else is sneezing and, you know, we get to drive and, I don't know. If you're driving through a fire, it would be pretty dumb not to have a filter filtering out all the smoke. Here's the thing. There's no other 
car that can help you in a forest fire like a Tesla can with bioweapon defense mode. If I had to choose between two cars to get myself out of that, I would always choose the Tesla because I'm gonna be able to breathe. Mm -hmm. And this is getting worse. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. We're, I mean, forest fires are going to go up as climate change gets worse. So unfortunately for people in California and all around the world, there are just gonna be more and more forest fires that we're gonna to have to deal with. So again, why wouldn't the media say, hey, since we're gonna to have to deal with this problem, let's put this technology into all cars or make it at least an option for all cars. Mm -hmm. Especially since it's not that complicated. Right. It's not like it's a Tesla patented technology or something. This is something that can easily be retrofitted probably into all new car models. Do you wanna support a company that's trying to make everyone's life better? Or do you wanna support companies that just wanna sell an extra 2% more profit every year and you know make the car a little less safe, but make a little more money? Right. Again, Tesla comes in with this vision and it's, it's just almost unrecognizable to people. That's true. I mean, that's what makes us seem like we're on the fringes, like we're some kind of weirdos, because every week you hear Zach and Jesse talking about how this car company is, it just sounds too weird or too good to be true or, you know, I don't know, guys, that can't be right. Mm -hmm. And then what we hear constantly from people who actually get the cars, especially now that the Model 3 is selling like crazy, every day people are contacting us going, wow, you were right. Yep. It feels good on one hand to know, yes, that we're right, but it feels bad knowing that we're not reaching that many people. Right. So anyway, if you want more people to see this video, you can hit the like button. I don't want to have to tell you to do it. I wish that YouTube would just, you know, you've watched this far into a fairly long video. Wouldn't it be nice if YouTube just shared it with more people? But if you hit the, the dumb thumbs up button, more people will actually get to see it. And hopefully more people will be like, wow, you know what? I live in a forest fire area. Maybe I should get, uh, you know, a Model S with, with bioweapon defense mode. So that way, someday, if the worst happens and, and there's a huge forest fire and I need to evacuate with my family, you know, sure, in most cars, maybe we're gonna be able to get out, but we won't have all sorts of respiratory problems. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next week. Night now. You know.